The best-selling book, Tuesdays with Mari, has inspired fans since it was released 20 years ago. The book details soul-searching conversations between sports writer Mitch Albom and his dying former college professor, Maury Schwartz. Albom has sold more than 15 million copies of the book in 45 languages. It inspired an award-winning television movie starring the late Jack Lemmon and Hank Azaria. I just can't accept it. I don't want you to die. I guess I flunked the course, huh? Death ends a life. Not a relationship. Author Mitch Oblin is joining us now. Welcome. Hi. I've forgotten the Jack Lemmon. Me yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was remarkable. It was really his, uh, his last film, basically. Yeah. What is it, I mean, you've been asked this a thousand times, that so resonates with people about this book? I think uh, most people in their life have had a teacher. And so that's sort of their Maury. I have people open their wallets to me and just take out a picture of their grandfather or something like that, and they say, this is my Maury, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people are lost, like I was at that age, sort of saying, I'm going 1,000 miles an hour, and nothing seems to be really meaningful. And so they either relate to my character or Maury's or character. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's so interesting that your book continues to thrive today. As Charlie said, 15 million sold so far and still selling. But in the beginning, nobody paid any attention to you, you uh, sports writer you. Yeah, actually, <laughs> we got rejected a whole lot of places in this city. I still get haunted when I land here. You know, uh, They said, it's a, you're a sports writer. It's depressing. Nobody wants to read it. Because what was your pitch? What were you saying? I said, I'm spending time with a dying professor, and I'm really learning something about life and I think it's important and mainly I wanted to pay his medical bills that was the whole reason for writing it It wasn't aimed to be a bestseller or anything like that Maury had terrible debt for dying for two years I had the idea to try to help pay pay it off by writing a book and had I not been doing that I probably would have given up there were so many people said no to it but I kept mm -hmm. pushing we found one publisher a few weeks before he died and they agreed to print it and they printed 20,000 copies and wow. I thought I'd have them in the trunk of my car for the rest of my life but it turned out to be something was it an instant bestseller no, nope. no, it, it had was a slow sort of build. People, it was in the old days when people would read and hand it to somebody, hand it to somebody, and then a nice woman named Oprah Winfrey oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> had, had me come on I for just five show. minutes uh, at the end of her show. It wasn't She didn't make a book pick or anything like that. And um, That changed it? That, changed that began it? Uh -huh. the big rise up for it, I think. She loved that book. I remember that. And a younger generation is finding this book, too. I'm astounded. You know, there's so many children that are it's taught in schools around the world, uh, in, in Japan and in Australia. And I always try to understand, well, how does that relate to it? I, I think because, you know, like Maury said to me uh, once, I, I wasn't the only person to visit him, and people would go and try to cheer him up, but then he'd flip it on them, and he'd ask them about their divorce, or their, you know, and they'd be crying when they came out. And they said, I tried to cheer him up, but he was cheering me up. Yeah. And I said, why do you do that? He said, well, why would I take from people who want to just give me sympathy? Giving makes me feel like I'm living. Yeah. And I never forgot that. That's like a profound sentence and it also rhymes. And uh, I think a lot of people relate to that, including young people. They understand mm -hmm. that, you know, actually if you give out more in a relationship, you get more. And then you, all these years later though, you, you said once again it happened to you. You adopted a little girl from Haiti. That years later you said, it's happened to me again. I have to watch somebody who I love die. Well that was She's sort a of, little girl. Yeah, that was sort of ironic, barely uh, 20 years almost to the month that Maury, that I reconnected with Maury. I have an orphanage in Haiti. Uh, we have 40 kids and one of our little girls, her name was Chica, developed a brain tumor, DIPG. And uh, I brought her up hoping to just do a quick surgery and maybe get her back. And she ended up living with us for two years. And uh, uh, we went around the world trying to save her. And um, she passed away four weeks ago today. Yeah. Uh, and you were very kind because I was supposed to do your show right that remember. week. We remember. But you said you never felt so alive, Mitch. I thought that was interesting. Well, because, uh, you know, trying to uh, teach her all of a sudden, trying to keep her alive, you realize you, you, it's precious, the time that you have left. Same thing with Maury. And when you realize, Maury used to say, keep a little bird on your shoulder and ask it every day, is today the day I die? Mm -hmm. And be prepared for it to say one day, yes, it is. And when it says, yes, it is, are you ready? And thinking like that, like any day could be the last day, well, that's what my wife and I did with Chica every day. Um, and so you are intensely there, and you never really feel that alive. You have nine charities, nonprofit charities? In Detroit, yeah. And the orphanage in Haiti, which I go to every month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which was also something that Maury kind of taught me, you know. Uh, uh, you know, he, he used to tease me, said, what do you do for your community? I said, uh, you know, charities. I said, I write checks. He said, anybody can write a check. You have a voice. You need to share it. That's why giving is living, Mitch. Yeah. Living Legacy is living. continues today. Thank, Thank you. you. Really much. good to see you. Very sorry about your little girl. Thank you. Thank you.